Hi friends. Uh, today in this tutorial, I will explain you the different tools and options available in Ansys Design Modeler. Ansys Design Modeler is a pretty simple CAD program. Uh, you can quickly create geometry for your uh, CFT as well as FEM simulations. So I will uh, give a brief introduction about that. You can either import uh, a geometry from other CAD programs in such as CATIA, SOLIDWORKS and UGNX uh, you can use uh, go to file and use this import external geometry file uh, you can select dot igs dot stp files for that if you want to create a, a geometry inside design model you can do that the first thing you have to do is that click on in plane right click on cell select look at so it will give a per perpendicular look so there will be two uh, tabs mainly sketching and modeling sketching is used to draw and modeling is used to uh, create features using that drawings so in this tutorial i will discuss about uh, what are the draw options are draw tab options available first we will take line so line as you know select the line first point and second end point so you'll get a line next uh, I'll use polyline if you want to continuously draw a line say here and if you want to end drawing you can right click and say open it so this will be open ended if you say close and then this will be connected okay next polygon you can create polygon you can see that n is equal to 6 here if you put 10 here you will get a 10 side polygon okay next is rectangle it's pretty simple length and breadth you decide you get the rectangle if you choose that auto flat option what happens is that once you select length and breadth the next thing will be uh, choosing the radius of the fillet so you can say it's automatically fillet, fillet is added rectangular by three points first point second point third point so if you want to um, create a rectangle in different it's a little slanted and all you can use that option oval next is oval you may be familiar with the key slot option katia it is similar to that first center second center and then you can choose the radius so you drew an oval this is circle pretty simple first you select the center then you set the radius that's all next is circle by three tangents so first tangent second tangent so if you select three lines and a circle will be uh, in inner circle will be generated so arc by tangents select the end and you can draw an arc this arc will be tangent to this line that point next arc by three point select the first point second point then to side the radius so it's done arc by center first you choose the center point then the second point and third point ellipse pretty simple center then you decide the eccentricity so another is spline you are very familiar with spline select control points is it mm, one more option I didn't do was tangent line mm, I'll draw a tangent to this circle so when I were up however my mouse pointer over here I can see a T being displayed so tangent will be I'll draw one more tangent. Oh, I'll draw a tangent here. So you, you, this is the tangent. 
so you'll be familiar with all the options here so practice it once and you will be able to uh, do it by yourself okay thanks for watching my video i hope you understood what i said and i hope you like it if you like my videos you can subscribe to my channel thanks